Hello everyone, and in this video, we are going to take a look at a concept in shaders called tessellation. So basically, when you write uh, tessellation shaders or tessellation, uh, this is some kind of an effect that you can basically get where you know you see the sofa and it has got some nice displacement and some nice detail. But of course, it comes with a cost of uh, heavy mesh. So tessellation basically is a technique that allows you to create primitives on the GPU. And when I say primitives, it's triangle primitives. Another thing about tessellation is, in simple words, you can say it is subdividing a set of triangles, but it is done without overlapping. Uh, so just to take a quick look of tessellation, I have a plane here. And I'm just going to zoom into it. So if you see right now, this plane looks good. And it has a basic uh, standard shader applied with some normal map. And it's pretty much looking good. But if you uh, see the wireframe as well, it's a flat plane, right? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly apply the tessellation shader. I'll just tweak a bit of parameters here so that it does not has a lot of displacement. And now if you see, the displacement is much neater. I'm going to bump up the tessellation value so that it becomes smoother. And I can go and increase the displacement value as well. And you can see that this basically adds mesh to the plane. So if I go to the shaded wireframe mode, there you go. And that's a lot of mesh. So this is a very good technique when you want to add a lot of detail. Specifically, when the camera is closer to a specific character or a specific area or a specific object. So for this specific video, I'm going to use a surface shader. And the method that we are going to use is fixed tessellation. There is another method that I would be uh, talking about in the next video, which is going to be tessellation based on distance. So basically, if the camera is far away, the object will be less tessellated. And if the camera is close to the object, it, the object will be more tessellated. So the current uh, shader that we have created has these parameters, which is the tessellation. And if I just go to the shaded wireframe mode, I reduce the tessellation. So this is with no tessellation at all. So this is the basic sofa. And this is with tessellation. Then if you would like to add a texture, you can add a texture, add a displacement texture, add a normal map. And then this is the displacement value. So you can just quickly change the displacement value to whatever you want. And this is a color parameter. So you can quickly change the color of your sofa or the object. And you can give it any color you feel like. Uh, specularity and glossiness. So let's quickly go and edit this shader to see what the shader code is. Okay, so this is how we write a tessellation shader and it is pretty much similar to the shaders that we have written earlier. So it basically has a few properties that we just saw. It has a sub shader and it is opaque. Uh, then we start our CG program and because it's a built-in render pipeline, we're writing the CG program here. So a couple of things that we need to take care of when we're writing tessellation shader as a part of uh, the surface shader is that you define a surface shader by saying pragma surface surf and simple specular is basically the lighting model that I'm using. I've written this function specifically for the shader. And then we're going to say we are going to add full forward shadows. Your vertex shader is going to be defined as DISP, which is a disp function. And your tessellation uh, shader or modifier is going to be defined by the test fixed function. Now you need to make sure that you define pragma target 4.6 because there is a specific shader model that we need to use. So we have the app data structure in which we are uh, taking the vertex tangent normal and text coordinate as basically the input. And this is the test tessellation value. So our test fixed function is basically the tessellation function and Unity mostly handles a lot of things. So 
in the function we just return the fixed tessellation value so next we have the displacement texture and the displacement value and this is a displacement function so it basically takes in the application data app data and here we calculate the displacement which is basically reading from the texture and then multiplying it by a displacement value and this basically offsets the vertex in the direction of the normal by the displacement if you would have uh, seen the video on vertex displacement you would be familiar with this and now we are uh, using this structure called input which will be used by the uh, surface function or the surface shader so next we define our textures normal map color and metallic and glossiness so i've written the lighting model here and you can write your own lighting model and we will talk about this later our focus for the video is going to be tessellation so this is the surface function and if you would have written surface shaders earlier this is a very basic surface function in which you take in an input which basically has the uv for the texture and it has a surface output uh, structure which is defined by unity as well so in this line we basically just uh, sample the main texture or the diffuse map and i'm not using the diffuse map right now because the sofa is already looking good with a color so i'm just providing it a color then we provide the specular and the glossiness and we also provide the uh, sampled normal map so that is just it about the fixed tessellation shader and it is very simple to implement just that as i said earlier it comes with a cost of heavy mesh so here in this view you can actually see how the tessellation works and how it adds value to the model and similarly this is the displacement that happens when we basically apply or tessellate the model with a good amount of mesh it displaces the vertices we will talk about distance based tessellation in uh, one of the videos but that is it for the video for now and thank you so much for watching